What's up guys? Just got done with the Peconic Star Totog Super Pool. I won. So anytime I do well, I'm gonna give back. We're doing a giveaway. We're doing the Pen Clash 2 3000. Already spooled with X9. Brand new, right in the box. All you guys gotta do is get three of your friends to share this video. Get them to comment in the comment section. New subscriber, shared. Uh, you guys just comment shared, guys are already subscribed. We're also gonna give away a hat. Everybody's gonna have a shot at the reel. The new subscribers who put new subscriber will get a hat. They're gonna have a drawing for a hat. Um, well, actually, you know what? We'll throw a shirt in there too. Hat and shirt for the new subscribers. So basically, just want to let you guys know, anytime I'm doing well, I got something that comes my way, Something's coming your way. We're gonna get to the fishing. Tight lines. I wanna fly. Go, go! Where's Jamie? Oh, hey, you're so quiet, I didn't even know you were here. It's a good trip around. <laughs> we're, still, we're still swinging. What's up, guys? Peconic Star Super Pool. 28 contestants, $2,800. I'm out with uh, five of my buddies. I got James to my right there, Mark to my left, uh, Chris Fowl, uh, Jigs, and my buddy Jamie. Uh, so we secured the back of the boat. In my opinion, uh, this is what you want to do. You're anchored up. You know, the lines are going to be moving naturally away from the stern. Also, any baits in the water, this scent should be flowing uh, away from the the stern of the boat drawing more fish more fish in we should get first hits in my opinion even though it's a hundred foot boat yeah you could be on structure up front at the bow but in my opinion you're going to have a lot more scent at the back of the boat we were swinging quite a bit you'll see me look to the left and look to the right you'll see our lines all to the left and then all of our lines to the right uh so uh, i took some adjusting to to make sure we weren't hung up on structure to be prepared to hook up with fish as they were biting it was uh it was a long day you'll see i'll explain in the video how i baited my hook a lot of people had keepers i only had two keepers uh, i wasn't fishing for keepers i was fishing for the one big fish and i've talked about it before in my other videos a large bait will get you a large fish and when a bunch of fish are biting that bait if they can't swallow it they're not going to get on the hook so what I was doing was I was cutting the legs off on one side of white crab. You're going to see a cooler full of mud crab. We came very well prepared. Cut the legs off on one side, pull each claw off, snip the horns so that the juices can flow out, and put the hook through one claw or one of the legs I cut off right behind the claw out toward the middle of the body or out claw socket. And basically you're presenting a full crab the legs dangling toward toward the fish away from the hook and a big fish came up i got lucky pulled up a seven plus pounder now when we first got on the boat uh we noticed a lot of rods and holders that weren't even rigged i mean there was no leaders lines are flying around in the wind and i just looked at james and i'm like what are they gonna do when the captain sounds the horn start rigging i mean James and myself, we, we rigged the night before. I have my rods ready to go, ready to rock, everything in place and in order prior to any fishing trip, whether it's on my boat or especially on, on you know any super pool boat. But uh, that was very interesting to see. So most of the fish caught on this trip were, uh, were pretty much cookie cutter keepers. There was only three real fish that had size to possibly take the cash uh, prize. Uh, my fish was about seven pounds. James pulled up a really nice fish. It was just around six. And there's another gentleman up at the bow who had one. It was probably three or four ounces lighter than my fish. So that was a really close call. Anyway, let's get to the fishing. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, and share. See you out there. Tight lines. Now we're swinging the other way. I feel like I'm drifting fluke right now. Yeah. You need a 
crab. I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these. Yeah, buddy! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright! 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. What wine are you hanging in there tonight? Oh, I don't drink. I gave it up. You know why? I'm allergic. I break out in the handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs>